So let me tell you some basic points of to making an any synopsis of research work or thesis writing. So first of all, my topic is development of tyrosine phosphate (SHP2) inhibitor as an anti-cancer agent using computer added drug design. Basically, I take an, an receptor and a drug design software with a molecular docking or in silico modulation or MD stimulation studies. I basically extract out 10 to 15 compounds to make an effective research in basically of a masters of pharmaceutical sciences in chemistry. So let me introduce you with this topic and familiarize with you this topic so my suppose uh, introduction literature review and aim and object plan of work work to be done work done and references these are the main points that you have to cover in each and every whether it is synopsis or thesis or any plan of work research or article writing anything you have to first take a brief introduction literature review aim and objective and plan of work and you have to mention each and every point that plan of work and the work that you have done or that supposed to be done afterwards or you have to done within a time or not and some of the references are given you should give so let us move forward with my introduction of this topic here the introduction is very simple you have to first explain what is cancer why this is needed to be made a new molecule of cancer because of the less potency of available drug if drugs are available they are not very potent in cancer so that is why we are enhancing more stability or more molecules to fight against this we this cancer disease so first you have to give some brief introduction then you have to move forward further suppose now you have to some give also cancer treatment how will you treat cancer suppose you have some surgeries are available some chemotherapies are available radiation therapies are available immunotherapies are available targeted therapies are available and hormone therapy these are the various treatment that we are using in current scenario cancer treatment so then first uh, then you must go for your introduction cancer and then directly come to the what now you have to do suppose i have taken shp2 inhibitor in cancer H cancer cells and uh, the basic substrate shp2 is a uh, uh, the attempt to mimic the tyrosine phosphate leads to numerous catalytic site inhibitors biological functions of sh2 shp2 inhibitors in cancer that you have to mention each and every point and uh, let's move further then you have to give this uh, literature review literature review means that your data you have extract from there what was your data means you have taken with the help of some research paper some review paper that you have to mention in this then after you have to give at least 10 to 15 research article or review paper as in literature review and now directly come to aim and object my aim and object is very clear development of tyrosine phosphate shp inhibitor as an anti-cancer agent by using computer added drug design computer added drug design basically it's in designing or molecular modeling of any compound with the help of softwares like schrodinger are available orthodox vena and various open bubble path dog hat dog there are various numbers of uh, softwares are available most of them are free and most of them are paid version for that you have to take some uh, data and analysis so first you have to take some your own data and then you, the drug you are making or the available in market that you have to compare the basic need is to comparison of data between standard compound and your identified compound and then after you are going to molecular talking studies and further you are going to structure activity relationship identification now further there are many what now you have to just summarize plan of work what was your plan of work first is literature review then selection of disease then selection of target means first of all you have to done all literature review disease is selected and now 
select a protein id means which pdb id is responsible for cancer protein that protein means your protein and receptor are taken then you have to make a cavity inside the protein that is called as protein preparation or cavity detection once you have detected the cavity or protein detection then you have to select a preparation of chemical compound libraries there are many compound libraries are available once you get the chemical identity then with the help of software you are going to be some make changes in that uh, ligand or molecules this is the, my plan of work and now I am going to tell you on high throughput screening and AMD properties further at last or at least some of the points you have to missing then after you have to take for EDM E properties means adsorption, metabolism, digestion and excretion properties you have to calculate with the help of software then you have to identify potent compound what is the potent uh, ligand which is responsible for the cancer and then you have to take some data with the help of docking and all. this is the, my plan of work and now I am going to tell you on high throughput screening and AMD properties further at last or at least some of the points you have to missing then after you have to take for EDM E properties means adsorption, metabolism, digestion and excretion properties you have to calculate with the help of software then you have to identify potent compound what is the potent uh, ligand which is responsible for the cancer and then you have to take some data with the help of docking analysis or docking result and then last is your the, the so comparison between standard compound and the, that uh, compound you made that. now you have to that simply work done what i have done in this further 6 to 12 months literature review is their identification of disease determination of analysis and protein identification that i have told in earlier slide also there no need to explain further work to be done that i have uh, already done then you have to just the uh, preparation of thesis structure activity like and then docking lead compound with protein you, you have to be done then lastly you have to take this reference from where you have taken this data why you have taken this data you have to mention each and every point and lastly you have to give at least 60 to 50 references at least 60 to 50 because once your references are good in amount then your data and research will be more perfectly valiant so this is a, only a gist of my synopsis and if you like to develop a new research paper or review article just uh, remember the things that i have told you if you want to make synopsis or anything just go through the points and clear to the main result and aim focus on your aim and result that's it thank you Have a nice day.